What's up guys, Ginger Hotshot coming at you again. We got another video doing some work on the trailer. So, I had been debating going back and forth. Do I want to do ratchet straps for all my tie downs? Do I want to have four inch straps with the winches? I really want to do that, but I don't want to weld them on in all specific places and not be able to use them. So I decided, you know, I'd been him and Han back and forth. Should I set up a slide rail setup? And you know, I decided, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. So, in case you don't know what that is, to paint the picture for you a little bit, you'll be able to see once I'm all done what it actually looks like. Um, basically, you have your four inch straps, right? Which go across, they hook on the far side, the strap comes across and it goes into a winch that's mounted to the trailer on this side. And then you use your little bar to tighten the winch. You feed the strap through, you tighten the winch with the bar. Now, a slide rail setup with these guys, right? You see, I got the C channel here. This is going to be mounted underneath the trailer and those switches. So you can be able to slide back and forth along the side of the trailer. So, wherever I need it along the entire side of this trailer, you're going to be able to slide that winch up and down. It should work pretty cool. So, I'll flip it around and show you what I'm working with here. Uh, the winches are actually in the mail, straps are in the mail. They haven't gone here yet. But the mounting system is the important part. I gotta get that installed. So look at this. So in order to get the sliding winch, strap winch set up, you're gonna need this uh, C, what do they call it? C track, C channel. It's not quite like C channel, it's a little bit different. Um, you gotta get this custom made shit uh, that's designed specifically for this. I mean, you could probably make it yourself. You'd have to be pretty skilled with the metal work and me, not that skilled, I can barely weld. So we're gonna, we're, I went and bought these sections. It comes in six foot sections, right? Uh, I picked them up for a little over $50 a piece, which was a steal. It was a steal. Um, normally it's like at least $65 online plus shipping. Um, I got four six foot sections, so that's 24 feet. This trailer's 35 feet, but there's certain sections I can't hold it onto. So I'm doing three sections here, one, two, and three. And that's going in before the wheels. And unfortunately, the wheels are so tight, I can't really get a section in there. So I'm not doing anything in the wheels. There's a little lip underneath that I'm able to hook my ratchet straps to. We uh, welded that in there earlier. And also I got these little D-rings I can hook to as well. And then I'm gonna be putting a section on after the wheels to the beginning of the dovetail. So it's gonna end here and we'll be going past there. From here on, I'll be using ratchet straps if I have to tie anything down um, on this section. We got some plans for that later, but that's for another video. So anyways, four sections. I gotta mount them on the trailer today. They come with bolt holes right here, one there and one there. So theoretically you could bolt this However, I think I'm just going to go with welding because I got to cut off a couple feet of it anyways. And I think it's just going to make it more sturdy setup. So I'm going to get this all staged, clamped on there, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I got the first one clamped in here. So this is about what it's going to look like. It's difficult to do myself. You can see here, that's the track. It's going to be at a little bit of an angle. I'm okay with that. It's because this uh, lip right here is recessed in. But we welded this in before. Now I'm going to weld all the way down. There, the length of it. I'm going to do weld right here as well. Like I said, I could bolt it. It's still an option. I don't know. We'll see what we go with. Okay, so decided that I'm going to weld it. So I get this first one reclamped back in. I clamped in the other ones just to kind of see. Uh, but these clamps work best, so I can only do one at a time. So I got the welder all set up, and we're going to go ahead and tack it in. Calling it quits for today. Not doing too bad. We're about halfway through. Uh, decided to weld it on, as you can see. 
we had two sections in we just stitched it all the way down the sides now we'll have to repaint this section again ignore that and did it on the outside, again on the inside. People are probably flame me for my welding. That's okay. So, two more sections, bada boom, bada boom. And then it'll be done. What's up y'all? So we finished the rail on the trailer today. We got those last two sections put in and put a little bit of paint on them. It's not completely covered, but at least enough to protect it from the elements. Um, I, I got two of these sliding winches in the mail. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how they go in and what the system's supposed to look like when it's done. So first of all, you wanna make sure if you're doing this setup that you get the ones with the indents on each side that's designed to slide into the track. I'm gonna include links in the description for all of this stuff. Um, I found my track was a, I got a good deal on this. It was only less than 60 bucks per six foot section. And online, it's gonna cost you a lot more than that, close to a hundred bucks a section. Um, this is just a little scrap piece I got. And uh, I found that local, so do your shopping. But I've included links in that as well, um, as well as for uh, these guys right here. And I also uh, give you a link for the straps, but you can get this all in a kit. So you can get these by themselves. You can get a kit with the straps, the corner protectors, and even the bar that you need. But basically, they go in like this. And boom, they're in. And it can slide all the way down. Unless it hits the crack. And yeah, we're not perfect. Like I said, you can uh, you can bolt these suckers in. I welded it in because I felt like it'd be more sturdy. And obviously, as you can see, I do need some practice. But hey, you know, what works, works, as long as it doesn't fall off on the road. Let's hope. Um, I got, so I did two full six foot sections here. I had to cut this one about a foot short before the wheel well. And we'll just have to do ratchet straps there. And I got one more section here on the back about a three foot section there. 